video is one of my favorites to do because it's just one of my favorite things to do in general and that is a reset getting my life together after vacation video i know i do these videos quite often and the reason being because we have been traveling so much lately that i do this routine quite often especially in the summer i feel like we've been going to so many different places we just got back from rhode island today is saturday we got back last night and so a lot of things that i want to get done but i try not to pressure myself to do too much because sometimes with these videos i will make a list and go crazy and it's just not attainable and truthfully when i came home i made that list last night in bed and got so overwhelmed so i shortened the list a little bit so this is a very realistic reset routine for me but so far this morning we're actually working out this morning we're going back to f45 we're going to do an f45 class woke up made some coffee and i took care of our plants because i didn't have anyone watching our plants while we were gone and so do the whole watering routine i wanted to water our flowers because i didn't water those at all while we were gone for the rest of the day the things that i wanted to accomplish i want to work out i actually placed an order for groceries which i don't normally do i normally just grocery shop but i thought it might be easier so i placed this order a couple of days ago but we're going to pick up those i want to unpack i need to unbox some packages water plants i can check that one off i want to revive my starter so my starter has just been in the fridge for my sourdough so i want to get that kick in we also got our bed frame so we're possibly going to put that together i also have our mattress we do need to get some pillows but i wanted to pick those out because we're kind of picky with the kind of pillows that we like but i got bedding too so hopefully we can put together a lot of our bed because it looks really pretty the bed frame we got so i've been excited about that and then i also need to record a podcast so that is my realistic routine i also need to do some laundry too i'm starting that right now it's everything i want to get done so i'm going to record probably through sunday tomorrow just kind of a weekend reset getting my life together you know the drill i just changed and i have been obsessed with the bubble braids lately that i'm literally wearing one to our workout i just did the top half of my hair in a french braid and then the bubble We're back from our workout now and I just picked up the grocery order. But the thing was, I was trying to do this to be more efficient because I normally don't do this. Ended up placing it at the wrong Whole Foods, showed up at a different location, realized I was at the wrong location, had to drive 15 minutes to the other one. So not a huge deal. Definitely made me run a little bit behind, but I'm so thankful to have all these. So I'll do a quick grocery haul. Quite a few things because we don't have a lot, but I'm also filming a what I eat in a week video. So there are a few things I want to meal prep. So I want to do a lot of cooking from home this week. So we just have some shrimp for a recipe I'm going to make, some eggs, chicken thighs, some greens and produce. I normally don't use this plastic wrap, but obviously they packed everything. So that's why this is on. Cucumbers, just a bunch of different produce here. Coleslaw mix, some canned goods. We've really been into LaCroix lately. So we just picked up a big thing of that. Some cold brew, pineapple for a recipe, a big spring mix, because we always go through a big thing of this. A couple of sweet potatoes, some cheese cubes. I got really into carrots on vacation when we were in Rhode Island, so I just picked up some of these rainbow ones. And then over here, I picked up some more Greek yogurt. I have this pretty much every morning, but I also really like these Good Culture Cottage cheeses. These are really good for getting in a lot of protein. I'm actually about to eat one of these for breakfast because I'm really hungry. It's like 11.30, haven't eaten yet. Tortillas because I'm making shrimp tacos. We have some limes. Cheese slices feta cheese i love ithaca hummus this is basically my favorite hummus this one's the lemon dill it's so good i also got some cold cuts these are my favorite meat sticks these vermont barbecue ones they're so good i like these better than chomps they're really delicious i'm gonna make an easy salad so i got a couple of chopped pecans i actually only meant to get one this happened with the tortillas too i got two of these but i only meant to get one that was an accident we have tortilla chips because i'm gonna make some cowboy caviar pita chips got some more ground coffee for the coffee pot these are bananas that i need to figure out how to use i need to make banana bread or something because those are old some dried mango and then some boom chicka pop which i haven't had in a while but sometimes when i just feel like snacking but i don't need a ton i really like doing this okay here's today's breakfast i actually ate half of it while i was making it but we have some pineapple a couple of fried egg carrots and then i just did the cottage cheese i drizzled some honey in there too because i like it a little bit sweeter yeah really simple but good protein. so for some reason my microphone actually stopped working but i was explaining how we were going over to my parents to pick up cash because they had been watching him while we were on vacation and we decided to have a bit of a pool day because it was 100 degrees and we wanted to jump in the pool We 
are back now from picking up cash. He is back home. He's quite tired because we actually ended up going over and doing some swimming over there. And it's funny because he never used to be really into jumping in the pool and swimming. But while we were there, he was so into it and was swimming the whole time. So it was fun to get to hang out over there and to see my family and everything. I wanted to do one quick meal prep thing because I saw my friend Kala on Instagram. She does a lot of kind of like easier, healthy recipes. Sorry, our washer's going and it's a little bit loud right now, but quite a few just healthier recipes. I really, really like her page. She had this one on there and this is actually something that my mom would make a lot growing up. It's called cowboy caviar and it basically has just a bunch of really healthy things in it. It's kind of like a salsa, but you can eat it with tortilla chips. So I just whipped up this. I'll have her recipe linked down below if you guys want to check out her page, but it has black beans, pinto beans, tomatoes, corn, bell pepper, red onion, jalapeno, and cilantro. And then you also make a dressing with olive oil, apple cider vinegar, honey, a lot of good things. And it keeps really well in the fridge. So I just whipped up this to have. I don't always have time to meal prep stuff like this, but especially in the summer, just to have quick lunches or just snacks. I think stuff like this is really nice. So I went ahead and put this together. And then tonight I'm really excited. I'm making some shrimp tacos from Half Baked Harvest. I'm just so excited to get back on my cooking grind. But I think before then I might unbox a few packages that we need to unbox too and start unpacking. I am gonna try this because I haven't tried it yet. Her dressing is really good on this too. It's very light, very summery. I really like it. Here is my unpacking situation. I have my entire suitcase to go through and I'm just gonna put all my dirty clothes in here. We've already started some laundry and then Aiden was unpacking earlier and also just getting rid of old clothes so we can fit more in the drawers. Yeah, our bedroom is still kind of a chaotic mess right now. We still need to kind of clear this up before installing or putting together the bed frame and everything, but that's in here too. So we're just gonna start going through this. unpacking my stuff something that i wanted to say how great of a flying experience we had coming from and to rhode island from texas we flew delta which normally i don't fly delta we try to fly southwest just because the airport is really close in dallas it's like a very central dallas airport versus when you fly delta typically you have to go to dallas fort worth which is farther away but we flew delta and lately i just feel like i haven't had the best flying experiences it's been kind of a nightmare to fly i don't know if anyone else feels like this but it's for one, so expensive right now. Basically have no leg room at all unless you upgrade your seats, which I just find annoying. I really don't like upgrading flights. I just, it's not, it used to not be something that I thought was very important. I was like, you know, you're just there to get to your destination. But lately I find my legs actually being in so much pain after flying, but we flew Delta and it was so nice because they randomly upgraded us to Comfort Plus. Like whenever we scanned our boarding passes, they switched our seats, which was really nice. And we ended up in Comfort Plus and there was so much leg room. You also have TVs, which I'm not used to flying with TVs. I've always fly very bare bones. I watched Little Women on the flight home. I had a glass of wine because it was free on the flight too. And it was just the most pleasant experience. They were so nice. All the flight attendants were just, they were just really nice to everyone, very friendly. And yeah, it's making me think that we are thinking of actually upgrading our credit card. Cause we've had a credit card for the past couple of years, but it's just kind of like a basic one with our bank. And we want to start getting points. And because we have been traveling so much, I think having a Delta card would be really smart because I want to keep flying Delta because it was just such a pleasant experience. And the flights were a little bit more expensive than the Southwest ones, but Honestly, I just think it's worth it now. Let me know what your favorite airline is. Let me know because I used to not think it was that big of a deal, but man, that was an amazing experience and I had to give a shout out to Delta because it was great. Aiden is just picking up some things that I needed from Target, things like random stuff there. So he is running that errand, but I'm about to start making dinner. And like I mentioned, I'm making these sheet pan jalapeno pineapple shrimp tacos with cilantro garlic sauce. We had so much seafood when we were in Rhode Island and it just made me crave more fish. And so I'm excited to make these. They look really good. I love shrimp tacos, but I've never made this recipe before. I will have it linked down below. This is always the thing I miss the most when I travel. I love spending like seven to eight o'clock in the kitchen making dinner. It just brings me so much happiness getting to work with my hands and listen to a podcast and really just unwind. I talk about this all the time, but it's the thing that I always notice improves my life the most. It's just simple things like this and it makes a big difference. So let's do it.
just finished dinner, which was so good. I would definitely recommend that recipe. It was super yummy. It is about 8.15, and I think I'm going to plan out my podcast that I want to record. I'm going to do it out here because it's actually not that hot. I mean, it's really hot in Texas right now, but this time of the evening, it's bearable to sit outside. It's more in the 80s, which is a lot better. So I'm just going to sit out here, enjoy the balcony, which I've been loving. Is it your bed? I just came out of the bathroom and he was just ready for bed. Good morning. It is Sunday morning right now. It's about 7.30. It's nice I can actually sit out here before it was too humid, which I think it's a little bit foggy, but it's not too bad. Enjoying some coffee out here for a second. Last night we ended up playing pickleball and it was so much fun. We've been doing this in the evenings lately when we want to because we just felt like we needed something to do that wasn't watching a movie or scrolling on our phones in the evening. And so we've been going and playing pickleball and it's really fun. I'm not great at it. When I was in middle school, I actually did non-competitive tennis because I didn't want to do athletics where you had to do like a sport or something. And so I always danced growing up, but I just wasn't good at... This is what Cash is doing right now. Eden's family, they all grew up playing tennis. So he's just good at it. And he's trying to teach me, even though I know pickleball is different than tennis, but still. It was really fun to get to do that last night, even though it's so hot here, even in the evenings, it's in the 90s. For the rest of today's plans, I have some work that I need to get done, so we're gonna do that. Maybe possibly build the bed frame. The only issue is we're not sure where to put our current mattress because we don't have a storage unit yet and we do want to keep our mattress or possibly give it away to someone. I might see if there's anyone in my family who wants it because I don't know if the cost of having a storage unit outweighs the cost of the our old bed so I need to do the price on that and see what makes more sense otherwise I just love to give it away but I really want to set that up too and then just prep for tomorrow too I have a lot of things that I need to get done tomorrow because I have an appointment tomorrow and want to get some errands done tomorrow too so there's just some stuff that I want to get organized for that I really want to finish the laundry too that's another thing that I really want to get done so yeah there's just some stuff around the house that we're gonna do continue getting things together from our walk i wanted to show a couple of random things because i just picked up some mail one my sweet friend carissa sent the cutest card she always sends random cards when she develops photos and these are film photos we took they're so sweet i love those it always makes me so happy getting just like random letters from her and also this is the most random package i had no idea this was coming this is from open farm the food that we feed cash who we love so much they sent these socks that have cash's face on them like how stinking cute are these? And I guarantee he's actually gonna steal these too, but that is Cash's face. So funny, what a funny gift too. I think this would be such a fun gift if you know anyone who's crazy about their pet like me. So funny, so thank you Open Farm. That was also a really sweet random message, but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for church. I'm wearing these pink culotte pants. I got these from Madewell a while ago, so I don't know if they're still available, but I really like them. They just flare at the bottom. I'm wearing these sandals from Steve Madden and then my top is from Zara. The only thing I wish, I wish this was actually a bodysuit because it's at this awkward cut where it's a little too short to tuck in, but this looks weird. So I don't know, I've just been kind of tucking in the front a little bit and then my purse is from Anthropology. I was in that pants mood today. Usually I wear dresses to church, but I felt like being a little bit more. Church was great. I am now in line at Starbucks though because I'm just running a few errands and I thought an iced coffee sounded nice. I wanted to get some flowers because I always like starting the week with having fresh flowers, especially when we're home. I just think it brightens up the space and I don't know, it's like one of those small things that really just bring a lot of joy. So I'm gonna pick up those. And also I forgot to grab a few things when we did our grocery pickup. Random things like I really need lotion, granola, things like that. So just doing a quick Trader Joe's run. I wanna plan out the rest of my week. I'm gonna film 
film a lot this week and so I need to do some planning. I wanna plan my week, which is another thing I really like to do when I'm just kinda of coming back from vacation and want to start off a little bit more organized. So we'll do that and then I need to do some podcast stuff. So that's the agenda for the rest of the day. I also just changed into this linen top and then my skirt is from Anthropology. It's from my newly order and I haven't worn it yet. I'm about to send back my newly, so I'm trying to wear everything that I haven't worn yet. So. because I'm gonna do some planning now for the week. I do everything in Google Calendar. That's kind of my favorite way to just plan things out. I'll put my tasks that I need to do and everything if I have any events going on. This week is actually a pretty busy week. I have a lot of appointments this week, which I don't normally have. And so I'll go through here, just look at what's to come and also plan out my videos because that's a big part of my work is just making sure I know what I need to film. I know this week I wanna film a week in my life. I wanna film my July reset. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that video. I just don't know when, so I wanna plan that. And then I also wanna do a what I eat in a week. So it's a big filming week this week. So I'm gonna plan out when everything's gonna get done for that. I just have a lot of inspiration lately for YouTube and wanna do a lot of summer videos. So we're gonna map that out now. Finishing up everything on Sunday, I did not have a chance to properly end off this vlog because I ended up just finishing up my work for the rest of the evening. Like always, I hope this gave you just a little bit of inspiration for getting your life together, for resetting for the week ahead or resetting after vacation. It feels so good to be back home too. I'm excited to finally start really settling in and starting the bedroom. And I get to the bed frame in this video because we're trying to sell a lot of stuff or give stuff to my family and then also just clear up some space to be able to set up our bed frame and everything Thing, but I will have that all in a vlog coming soon. But thank you guys for being here. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends. Bye.